Welcome to It's Time to Enumify Your Options in AL. Hey, my name is Eric, and um, this video is going to be about the transformation of option fields to enums. Uh, we have had enums for a while. Microsoft has begun and is re are really getting uh, through a lot of the base app and transforming options into enums. Um, and this video is going to be about Let's try and do that on an app. Um, you should do that. I know I also have another video talking about the dangers of Enum because we still need to make sure that when we get to the extendability, extendability of an Enum that we handle this correctly. But that's already covered in another video. So this video is going to be about the transformation from an option to an Enum. And uh, I have a business central here. And in this business central, I have the fantastic rainbow app. So this is an, this is a an app that keeps track of what, what are the colors of the rainbow. And as you can see, it's actually missing. If if you're into rainbows, who aren't, uh, you know that there's seven colors of the rainbow. But somehow the guy who made this program forgot to uh, at least let's uh, let's try to see. I think he forgot. So, because the last color of the rainbow is violet. And we have a color selection here, it's right above my head. But we cannot select violet. So, this would be a great opportunity for somebody to go in and create an extension and extend the. Um, this field with a, with a new option so we could get violet in, but if and instead of pretending here, here is the, the exciting source code for this app. And as you can see, color is an option field. Um, so it cannot be extended. So this is clearly one of the one of the things that that an enum will get us that an uh, that an option field cannot give us. But there's actually other advantages of a enum. So let's pretend that we're now, let's add a, uh, a procedure uh, called add. And I will do like, well, let's do, I'll just do underscore layer to avoid in key in conflict. So layer is an integer underscore size is a decimal. And underscore color. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll just do, you know, an option. And we'll grab the, the options from up here and add that. And I forgot the, I think I, there's no quotes here. Uh, so we we have an option, and this is great. Begin in it. Reg dot in it. Reg dot layer equal underscore layer. And reg dot uh, size equal wow equal underscore size and reg dot color equal underscore color. Um, this is great. But, but let's now, if we then go into and create a, a test procedure, a test function here. It says, in this one, we'd like to add one. So we can say add, and what are the, the options here? We can see that, that the options are layers. So I'll layer number 10, even though there are not 10 layers in the rainbow. Um, and I will say that that's a, a thousand, and then color, option. But, but I cannot do underscore color colon colon. That doesn't exist. So how do I specify the, the, the color in here? How do I specify the option? The only, the only way I can do it is either to go up and create a new option up here with the same thing again. And then I can say that underscore color is equal underscore color 
colon colon orange and then i can add this one but now you see now we are we're up to the point if i move this over here we're up to the point where i have repeated my option set three times um and i even have to do it outside so when calling in so let let's say that for some reason i made a mistake here i did this that's like an impossible box to find um or even worse i could do something like this so now when i say orange i mean actually zero one two so this will come into this one as yellow uh, and then gets transferred into the field as, as yellow also um so very very difficult to work with uh, and and prone to errors and most developers and guilty as charge uh, actually don't do this so so you you end in a situation where you you just pass the integer it's because i know this has to be oh in this case orange was one there you go see it's it's quite confusing um so so but if this was enum then we could do all this so so let's try to convert the rainbow app to be enum based so the first thing we need to do and let me show you what one thing is very important here uh, because this also works in the cloud be aware of this uh, if i go to my launch json we can see that there is no force schema update so the only database changes we can make when deploying our upgradable database changes um so let's go in and say field number three is color that's an enum and actually let's go down here we just do it in the same oh should i be uh, you guys are always making me write nice code so the uh, rainbow colors this is an enum um, rainbow color there's a lot of different schools in whether you, you name your enums in singular or plural uh, so we need that and then then we need to let's see if i still have it in in my i have it there Right, so zero is red, and I'll just do this without captions because otherwise we'll sit here all day. Orange, and value two is yellow, and value three is so. So, so as you can see, creating an enum takes a, a bit longer because there's more more typing. Suddenly, there's more there's more typing, so enum has that against it. There's simply more typing. Um, and we're at five now. Indigo. And then let's actually do this right. So we'll add the one as if it was extended. So here is here is our enum. Let's uh, just write uh, violet up here. Um, so now we can go back to our table and say that the enum we need to use here is the rainbow colors. So I'll do caption equal color. Um, and now let's just comment out the old field. So, and let's actually just make sure we don't get any funky errors on this part. So the only change we have made is basically changing the field type of field number three from option to enum and we have added the enum to uh, to the app there's no force uh, updates or anything so, so so we're in an upgradable situation so i'll deploy deployment went successful 
on the app. And we can now go in and select violet. So you see that the, the drop down is looking the exact same way as before. So from a, from a user perspective, there is no change in, uh, in, in how the app is. Um, and this is actually, actually, actually reversible. So let, let me show you something. So if I go back into, uh, into the source here, I comment out the enum one and let's turn back the option on. I can deploy that. Successful. And now the, the last line will look funky because now there is no for for that value. So that, that, that option is blank. But the database is happy because behind the scene, both enum and options are just stored as integer in the database. So, so, so there is no schema update. That's the reality of it. This is a logical update on the app size side. But anyway, let's let's get back to the enum version of this. So with this in mind, then let's talk about the the add procedure again. Because now, underscore color. Well, let's see if we can get this to. Wow, keyboard. Okay, so now, underscore color is simply enum rainbow colors. And you can see now this, this statement is fine. And if we now want to do our test, procedure. We see now we get a, a warning that, hey, this is this is not going to work for forever. But now now we can. So so enums has the, the enum has two appearances. Um, so you see, if I, I start typing rain bow, nothing happened. Colors, nothing happened colon colon oops now we we, we got uh intellisense so now i can actually do this and this is valid code so so even though and and i i'm i'm not sure why the intellisense doesn't allow this because it's perfectly correct syntax uh i guess nobody ever in the intellisense department never thought about that but Maybe if somebody's watching, that uh, great improvement to uh, to the editor. Anyway, um, now we can just pass this as a constant, uh, and this works great. We can still do a variable here, um, saying that this is enum rainbow colors, and then go about color equal, and when we can do the exact same th th syntax as we had before. Uh, like this. We can also use the syntax below. Uh, that will also work. So we can also do rainbow colors, colon, colon, blue, green. So not to be. Um, so so suddenly there's often, but if you just want to pass the constant of a specific color, this is not needed, then you can just pass it like this, which you cannot do with, with options. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, so the last question you're going to ask me, uh, and you can ask me in the comments below, right after you subscribe to the channel, I would love if you would subscribe to the channel. That's the way that I can see that I'm delivering the content that you guys want to see. Um, but the great question is, Eric, are there still a use for options? And I think there is, um, but I think the way and I got to be honest, I still sometimes create fields of uh, type option just because I'm, I'm, I'm a dinosaur. Uh, but the way I see the future of options, the, the, the place that it still has, um, has 
meaning is like a think of option as a quick and dirty enum. Uh, like if in, where the scope is only a local variable uh, inside a, a procedure that for some reason we want to do something uh, operation that's an option of uh, insert delete uh, modify that's a strange order um, because we want to do stuff in here um, with this that 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 like a case statement that that, that needed to look now so we can do case upper oops op operation off and then we can do let me uh, come on op operation colon delete something uh, operation colon insert something else and right that that this still looks nice uh, but but we don't need to create a enum object to handle the internal uh, thing that we want to control so 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 in my mind options is now enum light in en enum local um, and and this should never be extended uh, because there's, there's just a control variable that that I'm working with in, inside a procedure. Um, so I, I think that that's still a great use case for, for options. Uh, it's faster to type um, and, and there is no, nothing else that needs to be done in all of this to work. But other than, than stuff like that, I think enum is the way to go. Uh, and you can make it. You can change it in your code, and and your users won't won't see the difference. Uh, it's it's just something you can do. So with that, that's um, how to enumify. I don't. Uh, it's a word now. Trust me, that's a word from from now on. Enumify your your options in, in AL. Um, hope you'll subscribe. Let me know in the comments below if if you want to change your uh, if you're ready to change your option fields to enums. Other than that, have a lovely day.